Hi guys, in this video, we're going to very quickly show you how to amortize a fixed mortgage over the first 12 months of the mortgage, no matter what the maturity of that mortgage may be. So, in this section over here are my inputs. Okay, so I have my interest rate, I have my maturity in years, the principal amount of my loan, and I'm going to calculate the monthly payment then we're going to proceed to calculate for the first 12 months for the first year monthly the interest payment portion the principal portion and the updated balance of the loan okay so I think this is useful there are a couple website that's, websites that perform this for you they make you look at a lot of advertisement and uh, put in a lot of other information sometimes and also you it, it'd be nice also to know what's going on how to do it yourself so I think this is a useful tool for for anyone looking to get a mortgage okay so first let us calculate the monthly payment so this is a 5% interest rate let's change this to 7% and let's make this a 30 year and let's make this loan for 200 flat so let's calculate the monthly payment. We use a function in Excel called PMT. Equals PMT, we input the rate, we divide that rate by 12 because that's an annual rate and we want to divide it to a monthly. The N per argument is the number of payments, so it's the number of years times 12, comma, the principal of the loan, we put a negative sign and we click the principal for the PV, the present value. The following two arguments of the uh, function are for much more specific situations which we're going to leave out. We're dealing with a very generic fixed mortgage amortization. We close the parentheses so we inputted three separate parts, hit enter, and this is our monthly payment, $1,331. Now when we amortize we want to see how much of this payment is going to interest and how much of it is going to principal and of course if you have any experience with mortgages you know that in the beginning of the loan in the first few months and years more a larger percent is going to interest and less to principal and as the loan goes on to maturity closer to maturity that actually changes it goes as more of the payment is going to principal and less to interest and we'll see that hopefully we'll see some of that in the first 12 months okay so to create calculate the interest payment portion of the loan the function is equals I PMT and the inputs are very similar we're going to take the interest rate divided by 12 and we're going to put dollar signs around the reference to the interest rate because we're going to make that an absolute reference comma the period which is the first month and we just click on that comma we leave that as a re relative reference by the way the maturity the n per is the number of payments so it's the maturity times 12 and we're going to lock that cell okay make an absolute reference and finally the present value of the loan or the principal and we put a negative again as I explained and we're also going to absolute reference that close the parentheses and we can drag this formula down and you see as we go closer to the 12 to the 12th month the interest is actually decreasing even though it's very slow this is a 30-year mortgage okay if I were to change this to 5 right now all these formulas would update my monthly payment amount as you saw increased dramatically because it's a five-year mortgage and the difference between the first month payment and the 12th month payment is much bigger than when it was 30 I'll go back to 30 so you could see right and that's the great thing once you build this table you can play with the interest rate play with the maturity play with the principal and everything will update. That's the real power of all this, as opposed to doing it by hand. Let's go back to our five year, 5% 30 year, $200,000 loan. And 
let's now calculate the actually I think we had six percent seven percent there it is let's calculate the principal portion of the payment so here it's equals P P M T principal payment and the arguments are almost exactly the same as for the interest our rate divided by 12 and we're going to absolute reference the rate cell comma the period which is this month right here on the row that you're typing the formula comma the n per is the number of payments so it's the maturity times 12 and we want to absolute reference the maturity cell d5 comma negative the principal amount and we also want to absolute reference that the reason why we absolute reference these cells is because when we drag these formulas down we don't want these to change and when you don't want a reference to change you put dollar signs around the reference or as is the terminology of Excel is absolute reference okay hit enter and that's our uh, principal portion of our payment we can drag this formula down to the 12th month and you can see that this first principle is less than this principle and as I said earlier and I'm sure you're aware as you get closer to the maturity date of the loan more of the mortgage payment is of your pay monthly payment is principal and less of it is interest and we can start to see this trend here interest is going down principal is going up okay now let's just calculate our balance and to do this for the first month it's slightly different we have to take the principal amount and subtract the principal paid in the first month so our principal goes down by hundred sixty three dollars and ninety four cents for the second month we take the previous month's principal and we subtract the principal paid in the second month and now we can drag this formula down so we see by the twelfth month we've only paid down a little over two thousand dollars on this principle right? by the way if we were to sum any two of these cells for any month we would always get this same exact number Okay, and you can check that. You can actually highlight any one of these. Come to the bottom section over here. It gives you a little summary. And that sum is exactly 1,330 and 60 cents. That's because I'm hiding some decimals here. So you see that exactly matches that number. Okay, so now, now that we've constructed this and we've done it with, with the, the proper references, all the formulas referring to these inputs in purple we can play with this and we've got ourselves a mortgage amortization calculator on our desktop we created ourselves without having to go on some website so we can change our interest rate we can change the maturity of our loan we can change the principal to any numbers we like and we could immediately see our monthly payment how much our principal is, how much our interest is, calculated over the first 12 months, as well as how our balance is decreasing, where our balance is at. And I just did this for 12 months to keep it simple, but you can actually continue this on down as far as you'd like to the end of your loan and see, see this out to the very end and see that at the end you will in fact get to a principle of zero which is where we all strive to get to okay so I hope this was helpful uh, make sure to check out my other tutorial videos in Excel access PowerPoint and math Be sure to subscribe to the channel comment favorite like until next time have a great day